Wow, I'm so sick and tired of these. Oh, yeah, we go into overtime and we get the one point. Well, we saw we saw this whole song and dance before with police. Um, on a Thursday night l last week, uh, the Leafs got the one point against the Devils. Their mission was to end the Devils' uh, 10-game win streak, and it didn't happen. And then it was Vegas on Tuesday night a week ago, where, of course, they actually lost in overtime. Should have ended their win streak, but instead, we only got the one point. And boy, I'm sick and tired of these these overtime points. I'm so sick and tired of getting one point instead of two points. Why are we getting one points right now? Why? First off, right off the bat, I did not do the video. Because, well, I just want to get this out of my chest, the steam out of the way, and do the video anyway. But I don't have a choice to do it, so here I go. Uh, the Leafs lose 3-2 yesterday night in overtime to the New York Islanders. And then and they're now 10 5 5 this season. Really? Really? Are you kidding me? 10 5 and 5. This one should have been 11 5 and 4 for Toronto, but instead, no, 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 no. The hockey gods say, let's just deny them and let the Leafs lose this game. And honestly, it felt like it's so bad that even I want to pull my own hair out. You know, the last time. The Leafs faced the Islanders. I was at the Leafs Islanders game in April of 2022, and they went 4-2. Two. <laughs> Career night for the Leafs. Tonight, uh, they, well, from the last year. This year, <sighs> you bet I didn't go to that game, thank God. But this game just makes me want to say we should have gotten that two points, and we should have. And instead, we get absolutely doinked by the New York Islanders. Like, come on, we beat, we beat Buffalo last, on Saturday, and instead we have to face the Islanders, who, in this case, can't get a freaking break, and they improved to 12-8-0, that's freaking beautiful, you just hate to see it, um, let's get through this whole thing quick and foremost, we know what happened, uh, Elias Orkin was starting for the Islanders, Eric Shogren starting for the Leafs, Instead of Matt Murray. Yeah, could I picked Matt Murray, but no, you did not. You picked Shelgren. I understand that Sam Sono's out with a knee injury. I freaking get that. Alright, let's get to the game. Uh, first period was a little bit of back and forth. There's no action, but there was a little bit of action there and there. We did what we're supposed to do. Of course, we, however, have to go through the killing penalties and crap. And you know what? Let me just pull up the score or app real quick on my phone. Real quick. Um, let's go. Let me just go here. Um, yeah, okay. Actually, nothing was going well. You had some shot chances, but you couldn't put it in the back of the net from Ilya Sorkin. And of course, at 50, of course, with like with 5 minutes to go, I'm assuming uh almost 5 minutes at this point. Uh, Noah Dobs Dobson scores, assisted by the former Carolina Hurricane Sebastian Aho and ho -ho -ho -ho, Matthew Barzell at 15:21. Oh boy, that's an absolute ballistic crap face. And of course, Jen Jordy Ben takes a two-minute gets the two-minute uh, holding the stick call at 17:55. But then, however, you the Leafs kill off that penalty to avoid the. Islanders taking a 2 nothing lead, and as of right now, at the end of the first, you're down one nothing. Uh, shots on goal wasn't really good enough. Um, not you still win the quarters nine to, period. Pardon me, nine to seven. Second period, that's where things turn. Like okay, let's turn the pace. Let's turn the let's turn this around. Of course, we know what happened. Alexander Romanov gets called on a cross check. And, of course, we're on the power play. And this is, of course, this is John Tavares' uh, 300th game, I'm assuming. John Tavares scores on the power play his 11th goal of the season against the New York Islanders, assisted by William Nylander and Mitch Marner at 449. And the game is tied. Now, that is great. That is beautiful. And then, of course, oh, boy, we'll get to that point later. 
But then Austin Matthews scores. Well, actually, it was a little good shot, but then Matthews tipped it in. So Matthews gets the shot, gets the goal. His ninth, assisted by Timothy Lilligram and Ramos Sandine at 14.06. And, of course, you're up to one. And then, of course, things get even worse in the second. I mean, look, you're up to one. And then people just start fighting in. Um, Kyle Cotterbuck gets called on a roughing. Michael Bunting not only gets called on a on a roughing as well, but he also gets the Gordon Ramsay treatment of get the hell out of here, of an unsportsmanlike conduct. And um, what's next? Oh, yeah. Uh, Scott Merrifield gets called... You betcha. On ahead, I'm assuming it was unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, look, it was that stupid. But, however, you still played a good game. And up at that time, you're up 2-1. Everything should be pretty good. You win the goal. You win it. 9-13. Actually, 13-8, pardon me. Let me just bring out my calculator for this one. Uh, at this point and at this time, for the Leafs, they win the, they win the period. The second period, pardon me, 22, okay, 22 to 15. Nothing should be that bad. Okay, um, Leafs get the penalty. That's okay. We kill that off. And, of course, whoa, we get called on a fighting. And then, oh, yeah, Matt Martin gets called on a pound of too many men on the ice. So we should go on the power play. And, unfortunately, we can't do the squad. And, boom. This is where it starts to hurt. We couldn't get any shots. And then, of course, with 17-02, which is a game that we should have easily beaten. Okay, Eric Sheldrake gets the call, gets, like, you know, takes the puck. He passes to the player, the Isles player, and we're tied. We're tied! Why? Why did he do that? Eric Sheldrake should have just at least just, hey, I'm going to just send it to the Leafs and start sending it to the Islanders. How the hell do you do that? It's not how the... Stupid! And it's so stupid that it drives me insane! And you know who scored? Oh yeah! Josh Mother Truck and Bailey! Unassisted! Fourth goal of the season at 702. At 1702. And you're tied at. Oh, let me guess! You're tied at two. Balls! I said balls! Oh yeah, right, they win the quarter 10 to 7. Leaves win the quarter 10 to 7 on shots. Yeah! Do we look like we all give a damn? Why? Like, this is a leave team that shouldn't have done this. I mean, we saw with Jack Campbell last year, he did that stupid move, like, send it to the player, and boom, unassisted. Yeah, that's how bullshit this was. It was amazing, yet it was stupid. Absolutely stupid. And then, of course, you're going to overtime. All right? Leaves get the puck. Oh, they turn over the puck. Anthony, oh yeah, 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 it gets worse. We try to get the puck in and we couldn't. We turn over the puck. Anthony Bur Bur Villiers scores his fourth goal of the season, assisted by Brock Nelson and Noah Dobson at 156, and that's the end of the game in overtime. Damn it! And one point! Why? Why can't we just get two? We got one point! One point! Why are we getting one point? Why? Every time we get one point, it's always that stupid, stupid point. We get one pity point, yay! One pity point! One pity point! Like, I'm not even kidding. One pity point wasn't enough. One! So out of that homestand, you win a possible four out of six. That's stupid! It should have been four, or maybe like this case, six out of a... No, hold on. A five out of possible six points, but instead you get you're at a snake. And that's how the game ends. We should have won this game, but no. What happened happened. Josh Bailey scores. And what happened is that Shogun just screwed the game up. Why? Why would he do that? I understand it's just the game. But that was a terrible way to end the game. It was a terrible loss. Terrible game. We had this in the bag, and what the hell happened? What in the actual hell happened with this team? What in the hell happened? It should have been that win. We should have win. Oh, Leafs don't lose because the Leafs don't win. They need John Tavares. Who's your daddy now? Yeah, Islands fans, you could shut the hell up. Jesus, Amity, Christ Almighty, stupid! Oh.
final score at the end, you outscored them 32 to 24. You still lost the fucking game. Holy hell, that was that was a shit show from the beginning. Um, how many? What did the players do? Uh, yeah, let me guess. Here's Sork, Elias Orkin had 30. He made 30 saves. He had 32 saves and had a save percentage of 0.938. Eric Shelgren. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. If he didn't make that one goddamn pass, we would have won. And we lost that game with that stupid mother trucking pass. If you're the goaltender, tend the mother crapping goal. That's what Steve Stangle said. And he, and he did that. Why? And of course, save percentage for, for, for Shelgren. Uh, 0.875%. He made 31 saves. He had 24 saves against. There's your fucking point. Mother trucker. Mother whatever. I, I, I'm pissed off. Um, face-off wise, uh, yeah, you win the face-off by 53%, uh, the Islanders, 47, 48%. Power play wise, you're a one for two on the power play, while the Islanders, they were 0 for one. Uh, hit wise, uh, the Islanders were the better team in hits, and, um, I said it with the shots and goal, 32 to 24. Oh, for Pete's sakes, you know what, I hate getting a point, I hate Getting a point in one freaking game. And of course we let oh yeah, we let that overtime goal get away with us. Yep, one freaking goal. One and uh, one freaking point. You gotta be kidding me. One freaking mother freaking point! One Yeah, that's not fun. Should have been it should have been two points, but no, one point. I'm sick and tired of that shit. I'm sick and tired of getting one point. Why can't we just get two points? I mean, one point's better than nothing, but you could have won the damn game if it wasn't for that stupid, pissed off, off, whatever it is. So, the next game, and honestly, it gets even more harder because you take on, oh yeah, <clears throat> on Wednesday night, you take on the New Jersey Devils. And for goodness sakes, New and, uh, okay, look at the Devils right now. They're on a 13-game win streak. For goodness sakes. The mission here for the Leafs is to end the Devils' 13-game win streak. It didn't happen this time, so this is our chance to end the damn win streak to the Devils. If we do, that would be great. And then they take on Minnesota, and then Pittsburgh, and then Detroit, and they come home to, to play against the Sharks, and then they go on the road like, to Tampa and Dallas. Oh, the schedule ain't going to be you know, all sunshine and rainbows, folks. It's how bad it was, and I don't know how to say it. So, for goodness sakes, go into New York, uh, Newark, go into New Jersey, and take down the Devils! Please! I don't want to get one or zero points. We want more points than that. Come on! Let's, let's just win against the those pesky New Jersey Devils.